Mica when you see people carrying artwork that's larger than they are across the street. When your friends support you in shaving your head. You know you're at Mica when you're drinking coffee like water. When every day you wake up and you expect something different. When you see every other person carrying a portfolio just like you. When you feel the love, I think. You know you're at MICA when you go back home for the first time and you realize that you can never be normal again. <laughs> to be a member of the MICA community is to be an artist, but to find your place within another group of artists. It's a community where people who might have felt like outcasts in the traditional high school setting are the cool kids. MICA to me is being open and feeling safe about who you are, both as an artist and as a person. It's kind of funny and weird to be like, look like a MICA student, and then like there's like certain costumes that they can only wear in the MICA bubble. Like, if you wear, you know, like, outside of Micah Bubble, you're gonna, like, consider it as a crazy. I know my freshman year, every day I would wake up and a new person would shave half of their head. And the guy in a giant condom costume running around. You'll just kind of see, like, this crazy creative community, but they start to express themselves outside of their artwork. When I first came to Micah, I knew I was home because it felt like everyone was kind of like me. I had a campus tour. The girl who gave me the tour was really, really passionate about the community. She was genuine, and that's when I knew I was home. That was my front door. This campus kind of resonated with me. I felt so welcome. Everyone was just so happy for everyone to be here. When I came to MICA, the student and teacher hierarchy wasn't necessarily teacher and then students. You know, it was more like facilitator and students around them. I realized that I could learn so much from my teacher and just as much that she or he could learn from me. I felt I was first part of the MICA community when I, uh, I first took a leadership position. It really got me more into the community and I got to see how the community worked. I never thought that I would actually be in a leadership position. Figuring out who I am as a person has put me on this path of like wanting to cultivate the greatness that is MICA. No one has ever told me not to do what I wanted to do in my art. You can do just about anything and fit in. I personally have changed my hair color more than most people change their underwear. I dye my hair a lot. <laughs> people here come from internationally and nationally as well, and people come from small towns or big cities. Just the different backgrounds and experiences that people have definitely influences the artwork and the interactions between people. Sometimes you experience things that you've never experienced before just because MICA is so diverse. Everything that you experience affects the things that you make. For me, diversity is not just about different cultures, but also different views on how we make art, different skill sets, different goals in terms of why we're at MICA. I think Baltimore is a very diverse community, and where the two collide, there's a lot of possibilities for the artist. I love that at MICA, one night, you can be in a critique with your professors, and then that weekend, you go see them in their band at like a DIY space. Uh, at the end of the semester, yeah, I well, saw just... my time teacher crowd surf on my friends. <laughs> My involvement outside of the classroom keeps me sane. I can step away from my artwork for a little bit and come back with fresh eyes. Just being there and having a presence in the community I think is really important. It keeps me kind of intact with the community. The amount of clubs and activities that go on here is, is insane. Those experiences are some of the most important ones that they get from their education here. Even just participating in critiques, giving other students feedback on their work and asking students for feedback on their work can help strengthen the community. Bring something different, notice something that isn't there and try and try and bring that and just kind of change everyone's perception for a second. People come to MICA and they think you're a student and you're just going to come and you're going to walk into a classroom and just learn what it means to be an artist. But you can't really do that. I mean that's a really hard, like how do you do that? What back of a textbook is there that says like what to do when you're an artist? MICA doesn't teach you art but it teaches you a way to make it and a way of getting there and a thinking process and like a way to be an artist. It's just like being social make me comfortable while well, the comfortable atmosphere like we're making conversations and then in that way I can like think more freely and then like creatively. 
Well, I think a critique is important because it's opinions that other people are giving you that they see about your artwork that you don't necessarily see because you've devoted so many hours to it. You get these conversations that happen that are really unique. Seeing everyone's work really helps me widen my views of like seeing art and then making my own art too. You live and breathe through other people, you know, through critiques. Being around so many like-minded artists has really informed my work and strengthened my work tremendously. And when it's hitting midnight and we're all really tired, we put on music really loud in the studio and we take a three minute like dance break and then we get right back to work and we encourage each other. And if it wasn't for that, if I was in my room doing work alone, I would not be getting as much stuff done. It's important to challenge yourself and your peers at the same time because not only are you creating your own work, but you're also helping to kind of form someone else's voice. If you have them look at your artwork or just through discussion, you'll be able to gain perspective, I guess, and that will show in your artwork if you just take it in. You learn a lot during critiques, and it's really obvious who doesn't put forth effort and who does. There's going to be times where you turn in projects and they're not you know, like the best things in the world, but your teacher will challenge you and your peers will challenge you. And it's great to see people grow and see the evolution of their work. Um, it's just a beautiful thing to witness. Okay. Um, some advice I would give to a new student is just to, to literally just jump right in. Network, know your peers, and time management. It's okay to be worried or nervous and to just be yourself. Everyone is in the same boat as a new student. Everyone was nervous and you just have to realize that and make the effort to just interact with all the other new students because we're all going through the same thing. Before I came to Micah, I was a little bit of an introvert. I came here and I saw all these different people essentially being themselves. I felt just comfortable to be myself. I kind of found myself here at MICA. It took me a really long time to kind of break free of um, being a transfer student. I think the most important part was when I was an orientation leader and realized that there's a lot of other people who are going through the same thing that I am. I really just got out of my comfort zone and talked to other people that I've never met before and helped just kind of introduce Micah to other people, I guess. Kind of start to forget how you did things in the past because this is a new community and everyone's coming here together and everyone chose to come here. As a new student, I know it's scary to like explore a new city, especially if you're not from a city, but I think it's important to explore everything around Micah to inspire you at Micah. Micah community helps me to be more proud of myself and then like to have my own voice taken so much from things that people have done for me that it's time for me to give back to them and give back to people who are who are still looking to get here and are still still looking to kind of pursue themselves. Being a part of this community has made me feel like I'm ready to face the world, you know, as a solid person. I'm meeting a lot of students now that have so much potential and that push themselves really hard and they have different strengths than I do and I have different strengths than they do so it's really a beautiful relationship when you mingle with people that have a passion for the same thing but have different expertise. My MICA experience has been filled with ups and downs, highs and lows, really exhilarating and really challenging but in the best way. MICA is the best experience I've ever had in my life.